Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The Floyd County Sheriff's Office spent the morning returning several thousand dollars worth of stolen items from several burglaries reported last weekend. And one of those victims is Michael Garrett, who returned home from a weekend trip to find his house had been broken into. But then when I went in, it looked like somebody took the house and just went like this. But a break in the investigation yesterday morning led deputies to an abandoned home where they found everything from chainsaws to electronics to knives and guns they believed belonged to the Garretts. We had actually located uh, this property uh, beside an old tool shed. It was outside. Deputies called Mr. Garrett and told him they believed they had some or even most of his stolen items. And this morning, it didn't take long before Mr. Garrett was able to identify his items. Mine, mine, uh, saw mine. 30 games. Yes, yes, yes. And Mr. Garrett and his family may have never seen their stolen items again had it not been for one neighbor. A lady who lived down below where this was recovered picked up the phone and called and said, I see some people up at this abandoned house toting stuff and hiding it. A second break in the case came when the Norton, Virginia Police Department called Sheriff John Hunt saying they had arrested Christopher Wayne Andrews and Irma Angel Gillum, both of Floyd County, driving a vehicle reported stolen yesterday from the same area, full of more stolen items from other recent break-ins. We have been working with Norton Police Department, uh, trying to uh, get an inventory list of some of the items that they had recovered. And Michael Garrett says he will forever be grateful to a neighbor who made a phone call she didn't have to. If nobody had cared enough to pick that phone up and simply put themselves out for five minutes, I never would have got my stuff back, and I thank her. Deputy Hall says Andrews and Gillum remain lodged in the Wise County Jail, and charges relating to the Floyd County burglaries are pending. Reporting in McDowell, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.